Rainy says good morning everybody. Nice 36 degree foggy morning. Fog's actually lifted quite a bit. I'm slow this morning. Ty's got quite a few clips she sent me since about 3 o'clock this morning. So you'll get to see those in this video. And darn it. I see quite a few red dots out there. But I see a bunch in there too. I was hoping to get by without having to feed them. Being sneaky. Oh well. It is what it is. So I'm a little slow moving this morning. Took my time before I came out. Those big have been awake since three. And I think Becky and I are going to run up the time, boys. But I got to feed first. So, these demanding critters would like some breakfast. What? Okay. Yeah, they want their breakfast too. Well, apparently I lied. I guess Becky and I are not going up there. She's still got a pretty good abscess there, but you know, when you can't find a spot to make a pop, you can't find a spot to make a pop. So, and last night she was walking normally. You know, leaving her in here, she's got hay and grain and water. Not like she's walking a quarter mile every time she moves out there. And there's enough straw in there, it's comfortable to lay down. And hey, luckily I didn't need this side for feeding cows because there's enough out. I think there's two empty holes on the main feeder. So there's just enough out that <laughs> that worked. So anyway. Still gonna get to see I might even just put her videos up on their own. Do a twofer. And I, I ain't involved in it, right? Right? It's not my fault. Got enough shit to get done. It's supposed to freeze tonight. Fire trailer's still full of water. Pump on it's still full of water. Two manure spreaders still need to get cleaned up. So that's the plan for today. Which was kind of the plan yesterday, but who wants to do that shit when it's raining like it was? Instead, we'll do it when it's just above freezing. Oh, yeah, and these little bastards knocked that gate off yesterday morning. Well, I should say it was knocked off when uh, I fed yesterday morning. It's still off, but we didn't put it back on. It's hanging by a piece of twine. There's twine tied from that bar up to the end. So they couldn't knock it off. Guess what they did? Oh, well, maybe get that today, too. Either way, they're not going anywhere. The outside gate's shut. There's sapphires being a butt trying to go in on top of somebody else. Double freight this morning. Got the last one they had in Hillsboro. Well, for 30 bucks. I just barely touched that. <laughs> then I dropped the one. Let's see if I can do this one handed. She 
says she likes that new nozzle. I think it's doing a hell of a great job. Oh yeah, yeah, you notice we're on a different spreader now. You look how quick that's knocking the stuff out of those bars. It's amazing. And yeah, she's sliding backwards. One nice thing with this spreader where we're hydraulic floor off the tractor, that shaft down there is not spinning. So there's no chance that the beaters can kick on unexpectedly. Well, it makes it kind of nice. Other spreader's done. The tractor's unhooked. Still got to get both of them diesel, but they got to get dried up a little before we can do that. Maybe tomorrow when it's froze. And I don't know how she's doing that still barehanded. I mean, it's only about 38 or 40 degrees out. So, anyway, thought I'd mention she's a loving that. And if I remember, um, I believe it was Piper Doug commented about the hydraulic drive. I'll show you what we did on this spreader. It's not in the right place because the ones that are actually set up to do it, like Piper Doug's machine, as the worm gear box is the drive shaft across the back that actually runs the meter chain. We've got a jack shaft. Well, actually, not even a jack shaft. We've got a chain running to it. And the only place we had issues was you don't have a lot of adjustment for the chain, and it's a big chain. And if somebody makes a mistake and turns this backwards, it makes a big mess. But uh, anyway, if I remember, I'll show you that. It, it's easy. The gearboxes are made for motor to mount to them. Massey's parked over there on the other side of the International. Case is parked there. Both spreaders are out front because they get snuck in back there, and it's so much easier with the skid steer. That uh, new nozzle, hey, I don't think you can beat that. Becky and I made it in town just about nine o'clock, so I mean, it was 9 30 or after four we back here. Ty didn't get going on it till 10 or after. And at noon is when I got out of that tractor after getting it unhooked. Both spreaders, both tractors done in two hours or less. And this thing has been plugged in for a little bit anyway, a couple hours. So I shouldn't need to hit uh, that little button. And touch the head. The head is warm, so it should fire right up. <laughs> Just like that. We are so mean. We just slipped that bale in for them. I backed out and started up here. They all ran from the middle of that field. And I shut this gate here. And they stopped dead in their tracks. <laughs> yeah, we only got five more bales to feed. That metal one's got quite a bit in it, but I'll just do it now and get it over with. Ty opened the gate down there after she cut that bale and that bale, and I just put this one in for her. And yeah, she's coughing up along while she's doing it, and they're just patiently waiting for her to get done. So ladylike. Can't say we don't have polite cows, right? Oh, now they're fed. Ty was trying to get Becky to come cut twine. You know, this is the... <laughs> she can get by with her little low-riding rubber boots in here, but not the rest of it. It's really nasty over there with the steers. But it is what it is. It's that time of year. Anyway, go put this thing away and find something else to do, like take a pressure washer up to the shop so we don't got to drain it. Because it still needs to get used on some other things pretty soon, I think. Probably should open the covers and finish cleaning, huh? Oh, well. 
I toiled enough it ain't gonna rust. But there's all it is. They on the ones that are made with the worm drive, the shaft of the worm drive is the back shaft on the spreader. And most of them are mechanical drive into here. Or hydraulic motor. A coupler in there. This one was originally a ratchet drive. And if you can push that in and get it just right, it doesn't stay. And yeah, this isn't how it used to be either. But that's all we did. Had to put that idler up there. Chain can't get any tighter than that, so that's where it is. And our original shaft, and I believe that's probably the original sprocket. I don't think we changed it. I don't remember. We did put a real life bearing in behind it. There's that bearing is one of these two. Yeah, tells you there. And on the end of the shaft off the gearbox, there's a bushing just to support it. And we ended up just cutting that shaft off. So that sprocket that's there, if you can see it, that was the original floor drive sprocket when that gearbox was on a feed wagon. And, oh, pain in the ass on this one. Oh, no, you can kind of see it. This is pretty much the same setup, except the gearbox is upside down. Give me a minute. Take a video. So that's what this one is, but this gearbox isn't made to mount direct. That other one is. Um, all you'd have to do, though, I mean, you already got a jack shaft. All you'd have to do is just put a sprocket drive on, because this uses this crap up here. And I'm sorry, but fast on these is too fast. You push the beater out the back. Literally. We tried to do it on this once. When the when the beater starts throwing big, huge chunks because it's not taking bites anymore because you're shoving too much at it. And you don't want to tear the beater out of this one because it's actually got a gearbox on it. The other one's got a chain to it. But anyway, one of these days, we might just make the floor hydraulic on this one. See, it won't take much. There's kind of room in here to put a motor. I'll actually make a motor mount in here. Motor can sit right there. But for now, that's what we're going to do is leave it how it is. It's working. Get far enough away from her. She's on me. She's going to get me. There she is. And look at, oh my gosh, her mother showed up. Yeah. But to close, I was going to ask Thailand, how do you like the new the turbo nozzle deal on the pressure one? I love it. Made my job go way quicker. What, what usually would have been, you know, a good full day, she'd get both tractors, both spreaders, and the skid steer done. And literally two hours. Both tractors. I don't think it started until after 10, and at noon I was parking the tractor. So, made a big difference. And, Blakely, we're wondering how well she hears. But, Blakely says, hi everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you all had a great Thursday, and hope everyone has a great Friday. If we just stare into your over eyeballs. Thanks for watching, everybody.